happening everybody welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage over the weekend on Saturday I was uh, able to attend the first annual dub fest uh, Windy City dub fest in uh, it was at the Lake County Fairgrounds in Grays Lake Illinois and uh, uh, it's about an hour and 20 minute drive from where I'm at and uh, uh, just south of Chicago and uh, it was a good time. Um, the, the drive was really nice. It was a um, nice, uh, cool day. It wasn't too bad. So me and my kid, we made the trek all the way up there. And uh, after uh, um, working on my car the last time, my air conditioning isn't working. So I'm glad it wasn't too hot. And it was nice. It was a nice day to get some sun and meet up with some fellow uh, Volkswagen and Audi people. So it was pretty much a Volkswagen Audi car show. And there were roughly around 80 cars registered. There was, uh, I brought my B5. And there were three other B5s. Uh, I was the only tip car, go figure. But uh, there was uh, another Stage 2. And then there was a guy that had... Um, uh, RS6 turbo so uh, K24 turbo build which is well above and beyond KO or uh, I'm sorry uh, stage 3 um, S4 build so I don't know what that would even be called a stage 4 or something so everyone was really nice everyone was really receptive and I uh, got to meet a couple of new friends and I talked with a bunch of people and it was it was a great turnout, and like I said, it was, it was nice. There was a lot of people brought their their kids there, their families there. They had music, food, and it was just a really chill atmosphere. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, coming back next year, and I hope that they uh, can expand on it more. Um, so uh, I did have my son with me when I was there, and I was un unable to really take many photos, and I didn't shoot any video. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of show you some of the, the photos that I did take. And uh, majority of the cars there were Volkswagens, unfortunately. But um, there were some still some really nice uh, Audis there. And uh, yeah, so enjoy.
So my impressions of the first annual Windy City Dub Fest were uh, it was a good it was a good time. It was a great turnout. Uh, like I said, all the people were good. Everything was great. Uh, I do wish there were a little bit more uh, 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 cars there. I mean, I thought there would be a bigger turnout than there was. Uh, there was a, a local car dealer did bring out some Audis there, but no R8s. I was kind of disappointed uh, that there weren't any high-end Audis there. Um, I think probably, besides the dealer cars, the newest car I saw there was like a B7 S4. Um... But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess that is what it is. It was the first year, so hopefully uh, the next following years it'll just get bigger and bigger as more people find out about it and hear about it. So um, it was good. It was fun. It was, like I said, there was everything there from uh, Volkswagen Beetles to old uh, V-dubs to, to, to new stuff. So um, <clears throat> I do wish... So the, I, w I mentioned earlier the K24 build uh, B5 S4. Uh, it was a silver car. He had a, a um, carbon fiber hood, and you know it was it was it was cool. It was a really cool car. I really wish, for some reason, I missed taking any photos of the of the overall car. I took a picture of like the back of the car and of like the headlight because he had a cool sticker on it, a little turbo snail, but. Uh, <laughs> I didn't take a, a damn picture of the entire car. So what was cool about it was he had his whole front bumper off, and he had this monster uh, intercooler, front mount intercooler. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so when I went up there, I came come to find out that he had said that he had just put the uh, car back together, uh, just finished building it, and uh, he was parked next to the Dyna Rev uh, tent, which was one of the sponsors. And I guess DynaRev is the company that tuned his setup. I want to say he was running meth, or I'm sorry, uh, E85. Uh, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. So, like I said, I had my son with me, so I was trying to. Uh, I spent more time talking with him than taking photos of his build or anything like that. Uh, so pretty much the only photo I took was uh, just of his engine bay and stuff. But um, yeah. And, uh, but it, it was a cool build. Like I said, I wish I would have taken a, a, a frontal shot of his car, but it was kind of cool looking. And, uh, so I guess he, he finished putting it together last night or the night before, I should say, and, uh, drove it to the car show. So just like everyone.